Hey everyone, Mac with Minard's Leisure World bringing you another brand new line for the 2018 season. This guy is the Ice Castle Lake of the Woods Fishing Shack. Now don't be fooled by the name, this isn't just a fishing shack. This is a full use RV for summer or for winter or for fall hunting as well. Now some of the features on this trailer, this is a Vino's trailer, so it's going to give you a little extra space on the interior. You have about 21 feet of interior space, plus an extra foot at the rear bay window, but we'll show you that in a sec. Your weight on this unit is going to be just under 5,000 pounds dry, so lots of vehicles will be able to tow this. Now looking at the front of this trailer, you're going to see kind of a funny mechanism, and I'll explain that here for you. We've got a winch system. This allows you to drop the trailer flat down onto the ice when you're ice fishing. You can actually leave it coupled up to your vehicle when you do so, and it's easy enough that you can do just by yourself. So the full process, once you've unpinned it, you can drop the front tongue jack down completely, and then you can do about 10 turns per side at the wheel wells, and we'll show you that in a sec here too. On the exterior, you'll see we've got some dual pane, uh, thermal pane windows. It's gonna help keep some of the heat inside, gives it a more um, homey feel as well. Again, love that red color really stands out and that bay window is just gorgeous. It opens it up inside, makes it feel much bigger than it really is. Back onto the driver's side, we've got our radio antenna, our extra wheel well there, you can see the winch system. And again, that rock plating all the way around makes it super durable. Looking at the side of the trailer, really nice graphics on here. I love the color as well. And you can see there's stone guard all around. So it's a really durable unit. But here we are at the wheel well another winch system. It's identical on the other side. And just as I was describing, you pull the pin, 10 cranks per side until you're flat down on the ice. And then the trailer's nice and sturdy for you. So let's take a look inside the trailer. So here we are standing inside the Lake of the Woods. And the first thing you're gonna notice, it feels just like being in a cabin. I absolutely love standing inside this trailer. It reminds me of being inside of a Cabela's. But they have beautiful, beautiful cedar planks all throughout the trailer. This is real wood planks. You can smell it, you can see it. Brings a really nice homey feel. Up in the V nose here, they've tucked away your little bathroom. I'm gonna let you get in there so you can see. Now something to note about this trailer, there is no plumbing and that's for a very good reason. When you're in extreme temperatures, that plumbing can tend to freeze. So they said to heck with it, they took it out. Having that bathroom in the V nose saves you some space in here. So you have plenty of room to move around when you've got all your buddies in here. On our driver's side of the trailer, we've got a jackknife sofa that does collapse down for extra sleeping. And you can even store stuff underneath. They do give you cupboard doors to access that. You're also gonna notice these portholes all throughout the trailer. We've got two right here. A couple buddies can sit side by side, pop them open, and you're fishing. A really nice touch are these spotlights right above them. Really lights up the hole. Makes it a lot more active, a lot more fun to see. On our kitchen side here, this is the passenger side of the trailer. We do have a full propane cooktop and stove. So you can cook up whatever you catch right here. We do have a small fridge as well. Keep those bevies nice and cool or any of your catch that you're taking home later. A microwave is a nice touch too, in case you're cooking anything that you haven't caught. And there's plenty of counter space, lots of room to clean those fish that you just caught. Looking again on this side of the trailer, we've got some extra storage, some little cupboards for you. Again, that same cedar plank, really nice construction. This is a nice feature too. This is a little cubby hole here. Now it's quite shallow, but it extends the full length here. What that does is it gives you some space to store your fishing rods. Really nice touch there, I enjoy that. We've got a full media center as well. You can connect with Bluetooth with an auxiliary cord or a USB cable. Control the surround sound system in here. Take another quick second here to show you the uh, 13,500 BTU air conditioner. This is a rooftop unit, so it's nice and heavy duty. It's gonna last you a long time. It's gonna do a great job of cooling down this little trailer. So if you are using this in the summer, which you absolutely can do, you're gonna stay nice and cool. Looking at our front, or sorry, 
rather the rear of the trailer. You can see we have a really nice large dinette. You can fit everybody all around this table. You can play a game of cards. You can enjoy your meal. You'll notice here, this is that rear bay, bay window I was talking about before. The seating of the rear bay window actually extends past the rear of the trailer. And you get a nice view there. I'm six foot one. So I'm not exactly short. And sitting underneath here, as tall as I can, I've got plenty of headspace before I hit this top bunk. And if that's not enough for you, you can even fold it up out of the way. And I'll show you how to do that here. Just simply by lifting up. Really simple. So back over here by the media center, you can see we have a small gauge. Now this shows you the voltage of your 12 volt battery that's on board. This is a really important gauge to keep an eye on because as you're out on the ice, you're going to be running your lights and your radio. This is going to tell you how much juice you have left. So at a quick glance, you know if you're still good to go. Uh, something else I forgot to mention are these portholes. Now we have two, four, six, eight of them in total, and they're all just as easy to pull up and use. So as I mentioned before, with that small little voltage meter on your onboard battery, um, they do also include a 12 volt main shutoff switch. And that is gonna be very, very important. When you go to bed at night and you're shutting down, all you have to do is flick that switch to preserve your power so you have those lights again for the next day. Beside the jackknife sofa slash bed, you do get some more storage right here. All you have to do is flip up that countertop. It gives you a ton of space. You can store rods, you can store gear, you can store just about anything. So after taking a look at the Lake of the Woods, you can see there's tons of sleeping space. We've got space for five to six people. So if you've got a bunch of buddies, a big fishing group that you like to go out with, this would be a great trailer for y'all to invest in. Gives you a lot of opportunity to get out on the ice, get out hunting, even get out camping in the summer. Uh, these, some things to mention are gonna be these fishing portholes. These are specially designed for ice fishing. When you drop that trailer, you're gonna be flat, flush to the ice. You have no drafts coming in. You've got some great lighting, some great entertainment. AC again for that summer camping and tons of space for entertaining. Well, I hope you enjoyed our walkthrough of the Lake of the Woods made by Ice Castles. Uh, I really enjoy this trailer. It's such a great feel. You really have to come see it for yourself.